Hi, this is Getting Real with Hillary, and this talk is about what's on the other side of fear. So, what I was talking about in my blog and on my newsletter was that uh, since COVID, I hadn't had to get weighed. I go to Weight Watchers and I hadn't had to get weighed, and I felt like I was on trial and I was, I couldn't figure out what the problem was. It's just a number, it doesn't mean anything, what's the big deal? But what I distinguished was that if I was up, I w it, it was this whole thing which I've already described, but in case you hadn't read it and you're just looking at the video, I felt like if I was up, that meant I didn't know what I was doing. I was gonna just keep gaining till I was 400 pounds. Everybody would leave me. I'd lose my job. I would end up homeless on the streets of New York, living over a subway vent because it's warmer there in the winter. My face would be bloated, my hair would be stringy, and I would die a lonely and painful death. Now, and then if I had lost weight, I could celebrate and be joyful. So that's what I saw. I didn't know that what was there terrifying me. It happens to be the same fear. It's not like I think about it. It just was under the surface, undistinguished about other things as well. I'm a people pleaser. If someone gets mad at me, I have this, you know, un... Uh, it's like you can't... I, I didn't know why I was so scared, but that's like a fear. I must have seen someone on the streets one time and thought, oh my God, I hope that's never me and gotten the fear. Who knows? I don't know where it came from, but... The point is, that's what was there, and once I saw it, I could have a good laugh because it really was, I was just getting weighed, but in my little amygdala brain, I was either gonna die a lonely and painful death or I could celebrate my life. And it's pretty, pretty dramatic difference, right? So the funny part is, I did go get weighed today. I went down there, I hadn't been, and you know, and the, and the thing was we had to get weighed with our shoes on, which is like unthinkable because how much do those shoes weigh, right? I mean, in the old days, you would never, like you take all your clothes off practically. If you could stand there naked, you would, and we've joked about it. So we, we get a little crazy at the weigh-in, but the point was that I was down. I was down three pounds from March, and if I count the shoes, which I Googled, they weigh 1.75, uh, well, maybe it's only ounce. Anyway, uh, I counted two pounds, so I'm down five pounds. So I was happy for about two seconds. And then, the funny part is, then, even though I could celebrate and I wasn't gonna die a lonely and painful death, all of a sudden I'm thinking, well, that's not very much. I should have been down more than that. And, and, and it immediately went into suck you know like the suck life took over immediately and my celebration was only about two seconds so i thought that was funny <laughs> for me that's why i'm using my negativity on these videos <laughs> to inspire others have a good laugh at myself and hopefully you know let other people see that in case they have a little negative side they're not alone and we can laugh and once part of what i've been um exploring for the past few years is sharing saying what you don't think you can say and not resisting your experience so by sharing it instead of just having it be the truth and being terrified and thinking I'm a terrible person I get to laugh so that's what I have to say thank you for joining me getting real with Hillary and have an awesome day